Hey guys, welcome back to MarkDillon.com. If you're watching this on my YouTube channel, do me a favor and click the subscribe button. I would really appreciate that. So on to tonight's question, which is titled, Being a Couple and Making Gay Friends. Uh, the viewer says, Hey Mark, I always find your perspective on things very mature and intelligently empathetic. Anywho, with that said, here is my question. In your opinion, what is the best way to make gay friends while being in a relationship? I'm in a great loving relationship with a guy for almost three years. We're both in our early 40s and loving it. Life has slowed down a lot since being in our uh, mid-20s and uh, 30s. We mostly like to stay at home, work a lot, cook, travel, hike, and every blue moon, have small dinner parties with a small uh, group of longtime friends, some gay and some not. Um, I'm not complaining about our current group of friends, but they're just not that refreshing or proactive in doing things that we like to do on a regular basis. I feel that since my partner and I don't go out and experience the gay scene or social watering holes, we have no contact with other gay couples in meaningful relationships like ours. Uh, it always seems that any gay guys interested in us are, are, are mainly looking for sex. And once that's turned down, they seem to have no interest in us as people or potential friends. Is this common among gay couples nowadays? Well, you're certainly not alone in thinking that uh, the common denominator in interaction between gay men is often sex. Um, I, I've certainly noticed that, and uh, I think just about all of us have, that up until, up until a certain age, most of the time, uh, there seems to be this underlying sexual energy between your your friends in your gay social circle, between the flirting and the one-time hookups, and or you met as a hook, you met hooking up, and then you became friends, and you play around when neither one of you is in a relationship, that kind of thing, where it's kind of, where, where the friendship kind of blurs the line between a true friendship and and kind of a fuck buddy, and. I certainly get, to, you know, that, that there is a time and a place for that, but th there's also a lot to be said for having really good, high-quality friends that are not, that, that are just platonic. And I think there's some reasons why uh, it, it, it can be more challenging for gay men, and some of those reasons have historical roots. For example, uh, if you think about uh, up until very recently, the, the way gay men interacted with each other, it had to be very closeted and behind closed doors, and the interaction was mainly to find a sexual outlet uh, in bars, bathhouses, uh, bookstores, and it was really just about finding somebody that you could play around with, and then you would go back to your normal life. And it's only been uh, uh, up until uh, very recently uh, and especially the last decade or so, it's gotten progressively more and more accepted to the point now where, uh, in my opinion, in most parts of the country, uh, it's really a non-issue. There's there are certain people who are discriminatory and, uh, and certain and things that are situational. But by and large, I mean, society has just come so far here in, in the U.S. and, and around the, the world. But anyway, so now it's much easier to, to interact with other gay men in a traditional way. Uh, but I think it is important to understand that kind of the historical roots for why they're so, the, the, the gay community seems to be so sexually um, driven, so to speak. But anyway, I think that it is certainly possible to make good gay friends, whether you're a single gay man or, or, or you're a couple. Um, not going to bars and clubs does uh, limit your interaction quite. I don't go to them either, by the way. I've never liked bars, gay or straight, or clubs for that matter. Um, but, you know, there's plenty of other ways to meet, uh, to meet good, high-quality people uh, to be friends with, whether, whether they're gay or straight. So if you're looking for gay friends uh, in particular, uh, I can't guarantee that they'll all be couples. That gets to be a little bit harder. But, you know, think about... Uh, what, what do you have in your community that tends to, or your city that tends to cater to the gay community? Do you have any business and professional organizations that, uh, that are for gay men that you could join? Uh, is there a local 
um, uh, like gay sports team, whether it be softball or volleyball or what have you, that you and your partner could join and network that way? Um, are there any uh, civic organizations in your community that are meant to help the gay community that you could volunteer for and, and uh, network uh, through that? So you just have to look for alternate avenues to meet people and you'll certainly meet some gay men who are single and some that are uh, partnered uh, and you can work on expanding your uh, circle of friends that way uh, but most importantly I think that you should be friendly with someone because they, uh, they, they add a lot to your life you think they're a high quality person um, you get along well with them I, I wouldn't look to make a ton of gay friends just for having just for the sake of having gay friends. Make sure you're, you're making friends with good, high-quality people that you think are going to be a, a net plus to your life over the wrong, uh, long run. And, uh, and, and those are the ways I would go about doing it. And uh, I don't think that it would be a bad idea either for um, you and your partner to go out to a, a nice, higher-end gay bar in your area every so often because you may run into a couple who's there looking to have a little bit of fun and get out of the house and meet some new people too. Um, assuming uh, if you if you like the uh, like bars. I don't, so I wouldn't do that. But um, but if you and your partner enjoy them and you like having a drink occasionally, go out to one of the nicer ones and you may meet another uh, uh, you know a nice professional gay couple that you can uh, be friendly with that doesn't have uh, sex on the brain. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with having sex on the brain and uh, and and in the right uh, set of circumstances, but that's that's all the advice I have for you. There's no magic answer to making new friends of any kind. It takes time. It takes work. Um, so just be proactive about finding venues in your uh, local community that you think uh, may be attractive to uh, having gay men. Uh, oh, another thing. Uh, see if there's any online uh, uh, forums or chat rooms in your local community uh, that, that discuss gay issues or things like that. And it may be that you find somebody in one of those that you're, you're interested in meeting up with in person. Um, and, and, you know, so those are, those are all the tips I have for you. I'm sorry I don't have a, a better answer, but that's my opinion. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. So guys, thanks for tuning in to markdillon.com. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks.